real-life Trump has now fired more people than reality TV Trump. <laughs> and he might just be getting started. Eventually, the only person left for Trump to fire will be himself. <laughs> He's be like, I'm sorry it came down to this backward Donald, but I have to let you go. You're fired. <laughs> I'm fired. You're fired. Get out of the way. No, you get... Okay, you go that... No, wait, you go... You go that... And then... Ah! Uh... But Trump isn't just firing people. He's also hiring. And after Gary Cohn resigned as Trump's chief economic advisor, to help find a replacement, the president turned to his most trusted confidant, the TV in his bedroom. And he came up with the perfect man for the job. Breaking news tonight, the White House confirming that President Trump has picked cable TV host Larry Kudlow as his next top economic advisor. Kudlow replaces Gary Cohn, who resigned over the president's decision to enact new tariffs. That's right. CNBC host Larry Kudlow is Trump's new chief economic advisor which shouldn't come as a surprise. Trump has already hired two Fox News anchors, and he's apparently considering hiring a third. Basically, if Trump sees you on TV, there's a really good chance that he'll hire you. Yeah. By the time his uh, term is done, his attorney general is just gonna be Judge Judy, and his housing <laughs> secretary will be Bob the Builder. <laughs> which is ridiculous, but somehow still less ridiculous than Ben Carson. <laughs> and... And since... <laughs> And since Larry Kudlow will be guiding America's economic fate, we thought let's get to know him in another installment of Profiles in Tremendousness. I have the most dedicated people. I have the best people. Meet Larry Kudlow, the new chief economic advisor. He's worked on Wall Street, the Federal Reserve, the Budget Office, and for the, for the past 16 years, he's been the face of CNBC. So this guy has lived money his whole life. And it shows. I mean, he looks like a used Mercedes salesman. <laughs> but aside from being on TV, he has another key qualification for the Trump White House. He has a master's degree from the University of Obama bashing. Call it Obama's war on business. It's bad to the bone. Obama's the guy who has no leadership, no hands-on management. He looks completely inept. Our President Obama's little green go-karts, the end of freedom. I want big cars. I want SUVs. Here's the picture that bugged the hell out of me. I mean, it really pissed me off all weekend. President Obama giving a warm handshake to uh, Venezuela dictator Hugo Chavez. Look at that. Kind of a boys in the hood handshake. <laughs> kind of a boys-in-the-hood handshake. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll be honest. I never understood this obsession with how Obama greeted people. Like, so what? Black people have a different handshake. Get over it. Like, when white people shake hands, black people don't go, oh, what is this bizarre Fraser fist bump you're doing? <laughs> oh. So, Trump and Kudlow share hating uh, Obama. But they also have another thing in common. They love money more than anything. In fact, this was Kudlow's reaction after a thousand people died in a Japanese earthquake. The human toll here yeah. looks to be much worse than the economic toll, and we can be grateful for that. And the human toll is a tragedy. We know that. Yeah, we can be grateful for that. Thank God the money was safe. <laughs> I thought we'd have to hold a telethon to raise money for the money. Ah. <laughs> so as a personality, I guess you can see why Trump is uh, going with Kudlow. But what about his skills? As Trump's economic advisor, Kudlow will be responsible for assessing the economy and advising the president on what to do. But given his track record, Kudlow might not be the best choice. For instance, in the mid-2000s, when many economists were warning about the impending housing market collapse, listen to how Trump's guy responds. Everyone who buys a house now in New York or Miami or in San Diego uh, assumes that the price will just keep going up and up and up, and that's what you call a bubble. That's because it doesn't I... happen. I just feel, look, at, I have a different take on this. I think the housing boom is a tremendous plus for middle-income people, for low-income people. You're not gonna have a housing bubble go bust when the unemployment rate is low and the economy is growing at 3 4%. Okay, now you see, it's a little funny that he was wrong, but it's super funny that he interrupts someone to be that wrong. <laughs> Like, I bet there was a guy like him before every major event in history. Just like, sir, the Titanic looks like it's going to... I have a different take on this. <laughs> I think boats break ice, not the other way around. <laughs> I think our neighbor, Charles Manson, seems a little dangerous, and we should... I have a different take on this. <laughs> He's just hangry. We should invite him over for dinner. <laughs> now, if you want to be nice to Kudlow, there were people who missed the housing bubble that led to the Great Recession. You know, it's like he didn't see the warning signs that a tsunami was about to hit. But it takes a special kind of person to be in the tsunami and deny that it's happening at all. 
I am declaring the recession debate is over. No recession out there. Nada. Not happening. There ain't no recession. That's the theme of this show. Subject closed as far as I'm concerned. Okay, like, <laughs> that's a bad one. Because the biggest recession of our lives was just starting, and this guy's like, no recession, don't stress, no recession. Like, it's, it's almost like the tsunami was forming, the tide's pulling out, and Cudlow's on the beach screaming, there's no tsunami, folks! Sometimes the waves just go back into the ocean to visit their parents, come on! <laughs> but be that as it may, he is now Trump's new economic advisor. So, we wish Larry Cudlow the best of luck, assuming he hasn't already been fired.